All right, so the most important thing when making a gingerbread house is <laughs> is not to eat it. It's to have patience. Wouldn't Richard. you agree? I mean, you guys yes. started yesterday. Yeah. You had a few little issues. Well, building the house itself, I think, is probably the most difficult part. Right. Yeah, and right? you should do it early so that it can sit and set. So, yeah. you know, but even though we are not gingerbread masters, yeah. we knew the cardinal rule, again, as you mentioned, to build the frame ahead of time. So you saw my people attempt yesterday, as well as Bruce. Did we capture the collapsing of Bruce's? Oh, we so. might not have on TV, but his needed some real help after the show. In fact, I think that the ladies had to come in and help him. I don't think he was able to pull it off. No, you're right, because yesterday, instead of doing a very serious news story, I helped our managing editor build the rest of all of the houses so that we'd be ready today. We learned a few tricks. You know, Kenna, you see all the little spices? And you all did yes, this where yeah. you kind of stacked it. We also Hold built it them, up, right? Yeah. Yeah, on their side so that it didn't collapse on itself. Oh, that really, really worked. smart. Yeah, that made a big difference. And then put the roof on last and it, give it a little time to set so that it yeah. didn't collapse. So those were just some of the tricks that yeah. we learned by doing it. But I, we are going to love to hear what a pro has to say. So Chef Nils Roland, who owns Creme de la Coca in hey. St. Augustine. Hey, good morning. <laughs> He's joining us live via Zoom. So good morning to you. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, no problem. Now, I, you know what? This seems like so basic, but honestly, um, Bruce had some trouble <laughs> with the piping bag itself. Can you kind of walk us through <laughs> what we should and shouldn't do? Right, so the piping bag actually tends to be a lot of people's problems. So generally they come with small bags. I like they're a little bit bigger. Mm. Now filling the bag can be part of a problem for people. The trick there is if you get the bag, you open it up and you have a cup or a pitcher, you put the bag in the pitcher. Oh. And you oh. So then you have a nice clean entry point so you don't get frosting out the bag. And then once you do get the frosting in there, a tip that you can do is you can either tie the back of the bag, yes. use the yes. tie, uh, help the kids too, um, and it'll also keep the frosting from coming out the back. And that, a oh, that, is that is brilliant. a huge that one because brilliant. it kept coming back up and I kept yes, having to smooth doing that it back right down. Now. Let's see if this will pull up. Can, can, <laughs> can you hire people? Oh. <laughs> yeah, where'd you come from? Oopsie. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so Bruce had a lot of trouble. So he actually joined us on the interview, Chef, um, because he needs to listen very closely. Um, so I'm hiring I'm, contractors. Oh, gosh. Can you, can you help us out with the designs? Because, you know, Jen, one thing yeah. is we do have different tips um, on yeah. the actual bag. But when it comes to, like, I, I do want to just move to the left. Lena did a nice job. You know, I got you. I got you. I'm uh -oh, not going to break ooh, it, but it's, it's, it's teetering here. I'm holding it. Look, chef, look, look at some of her designs. I mean, you know, that takes a little bit of patience and time. Lena, I got of you. Of course. So with some of the designs, I saw you guys were building it and having it a little bit of troubles. Yeah. So one of the things that people sort of neglect with gingerbread decorating is decorating the board around the gingerbread house. Oh. So using some frosting on the board things like that make the structure a little bit more stable because you have something that's a little bit tacky too. And also use a little bit more frosting than you think you're going to need. It is a gingerbread house. It is in the snow. Um, snow is not necessarily the cleanest thing. So I like to use a little bit more frosting. Um, I do judge like a local gingerbread competition and stuff. And I always remind them. So the more snow, the better. Um, and a little bit of like sugar or like sanding sugar on that will make it really sparkly. Um, and just, you know, like I said, you got to use a little bit more than you think. And then also with the frosting, some of the stuff you get in the packages might not be super awesome. Um, <laughs> but powdered sugar and egg whites generally makes you a better frosting. It'll dry a little bit faster and it has a much better like tackiness to it. Okay, so let, let me just, that's excellent advice. And of course you can add in some things. My kids loving use, love using like life cereal to like decorate the, yep. uh, the, the roof, for example. But what if, you, what if you break part of the house? Is there an easy way to fix it? You know, the gingerbread itself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so again, it's the, the best way to do that is you're gonna, you're gonna use the frosting. It's sort of like super glue. You're gonna put it in there. Uh, you're gonna sort of spread it out a little bit and then you're gonna press it together. And on the back side that nobody's going to see, you can add a little bit of extra frosting and spread it over it so it acts as a backing to it. I do that with chocolate a lot. Um, so if there's a break, nobody's ever going to see the inside. So use a little extra frosting on there so it dries and it'll give it a little more support. All right, Chef. Thank that. you so much. Love this was that. such good awesome. advice. So now you, you can work. Okay, can I work? Get okay, work. I'm behind. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chef, you're going to stick with us. Join us on the morning show coming up um, at 9 o'clock, critiquing our work, picking a winner. 
picking a winner. No hey. favorites, Chef. No favorites. I'll slip you a $5 bill. You'll also <laughs> get a chance, you know, to pick your favorite again in the 9 o'clock hour. So thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you soon.